Now, if you're wondering why so much money is being spent on preventing a disease that may never even materialize, consider this. In 2001, the animal disease foot and mouth was discovered in the United Kingdom. Before it was all over, six million animals had to be destroyed at a cost of close to four billion dollars, all for a disease that's not even transmittable to humans. Well, pandemics are a threat health officials take seriously and continually prepare for. Our Brian Bindley took part in a mock pandemic preparedness drill in Hughes County. What looks like a scene taken straight out of an ER script or any hospital drama. IMSA workers transport a young lady to the hospital while others receive medication for the plague. Hughes County IMSA Director Kyle Pruitt. We work on things like this all the time. Uh, we've had multiple uh, scenarios before, uh, such as tornadoes or a train wreck that with a chemical spill or something like that. And this is just one one particular uh, part where it's, we do the exercise in order to stay up on what, what needs to be done, find anybody's faults uh, where anything is lacking to uh, better serve the people of this community. Fortunately, this is just a scenario and not the actual plague. But Unit Commander Barbara Maxwell is treating the mass immunization prophylaxis site in Holdenville, Oklahoma, as the real thing. We want to see how many people we can run through in a certain length of time because we know we have 15,000 people in Hughes County and therefore we want to see how long it will take us to make sure that we can take care of these people within a 48-hour period. Calling on 130 volunteers, this exercise will allow the different emergency departments to evaluate their performance during a mock crisis. Public Information Officer Jeff Colclasier. Uh, it's very applicable to several different types of man-made and natural disasters that might occur. That The important part is the preparation and the planning that goes into developing your procedures so that you're better able to serve your community and your county. And in case of an actual emergency, Hughes County makes sure every individual is taken care of. Deputy Safety Officer Randy Hayhurst. To go through this exercise with, uh, without taking into account every contingency for every possibility um, is, uh, uh, would be short-sighted and I'm very encouraged by what we're doing here today by knowing that um, they are looking at every detail and not overlooking any, any possibility that we might encounter. The event also serves as hands-on training for many of the healthcare students at the West Watkins Technology Center in Wetumpka. Director of Health Programs, Linda Sanford. This is a really good experience for our students in the fact that they're not only being trained for this experience, but they're going out to other communities and then also providing that training to other communities besides just Hughes County. Something Sharon Tyler appreciates not only as a student, but also as a citizen. I think it helps the public if, if the general public or community knows about it. If something does happen, they're not, it's not such chaos and nobody knew what to do or what to do. If we have a, a mock disaster, they kind of have an idea of what's going on and how to run through. Allowing Hughes County citizens the peace of mind that officials are prepared for any kind of disaster.